Good uh, morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today uh, the air quality is so much better. Clear skies, kinda looks hazy in the camera cause it's cloudy, but clear clouds. Welcome to today <laughs> and honey, you are a mess. She is so itchy, always scratching herself, but let me show you something interesting about honey. So honey was on grass since the time she was born. She didn't ever, ever, ever have hay. So when we bought her, we had to switch her over to hay, which was a grueling task. Not because it was hard, but because we were stressed about it because obviously grass has like a lot more water in it and hay is so much more drying and she was young and I didn't want her to like colic because it was such a risk. Anyway, we did it amazing. It turned out really easy. She was easy to do. I was worried the whole time, but the thing about honey that you guys don't know is that she only likes grass. So we put like a lot of hay out during the day and that's what she's supposed to eat. She doesn't eat it. Hay. We've never seen her eat hay. She, she eats it in her, eat stall. in her stall. Obviously she ate it all winter in her stall and when there's snow, but when there's grass around, she sticks her head. All this grass used to come all the way up to the fence line. Like that's a lot of grass. And it goes all the way down here. Honey sticks her head through this fence and has eaten a path all the way down. Like there's no, well, there's like a few spots that she couldn't really get at, or there's weeds, but, All the way down, she's eaten this whole huge path of grass. All the way down. <laughs> and you think she'd be fatter because of the grass. Lunchtime, we put her in her stall with her hay, so she has to eat her hay. Gracie did that. Yeah, so look at this spot. This is Honey's color. It's possible, uh oh, wait a minute. Honey. She's like. Stop walking away from me, Mare. Yes, you have Stop. earned the name Mare. So, no she's not, she's a filly. So look at this. That's where, she's a big groomer. She grooms all the time and she's always grooming the other horses and this is where the other horses groom her. So all that hair has come out first. And even, honey. But I hate the patchy. <laughs> Grace is like, what are you doing to my baby? See, she's gonna go eat. Yeah, so this is what she does. She doesn't eat the hay, she sticks her head through the best she can and she's eaten all the grass all along everywhere so there's like nothing left for her to eat but she won't just go and eat I hay. never see her eating hay in the daytime. We never see her eating hay. She uses it as a butt scratch. She also uses it as a butt scratch. Here let me try and groom her. Look how cute That's Willow hard. is. Look how cute. <laughs> she's she even she has the cute little uh, face. The crooked stripe. He did come back for me. Look how cute his little fatty is. And there's this one. And there's Penny. Being a grouch. Hi, Pen! I learned some crazy stuff since yesterday's video. And I'm gonna tell you guys, it was super interesting. So, do you guys remember at the end of yesterday's video, Storm had a cut, Gabby cleaned it, and we put a dressing on it. We put a dressing on it only because he lays down in his stall at night and we didn't want it to get gross stuff in it. Um, by the time he came out of the field for after dinner, it was already pretty much off, so Gabby took it off of him. <laughs> so we cleaned it, we're just gonna keep it clean, keep cream on it. Oh, his nose didn't have a cut. Yeah, so anyways. Yeah. I also right so here. You should put his no. So look, that's just Sophia. You can't really see it now, but yesterday when we came down and we discovered Storm had a tiny cut, he also had a bloody nose in both nostrils. I think so? he just stopped. yeah. So, anyways, my friend who is a vet sent me a message today, and she told me that oftentimes, when in bad quality forest fire environments, like where there's soot and smoke in the air, that it will dry out people or animals' mucous membranes, and that horses oftentimes will get bloody noses and the fact that it was on both sides was so such a good sign no, because Ow. she said it's normal for horses to lick their cut it's just that we never see it like we never dogs see them doing that, do that too. dogs do it oh, always it's so painful to lick your cut how do you know Sophie? because a uh, cookie she licked my cut <laughs> It was she did. The chihuahuas would always lick her, try and lick her no, cuts. No, Molly licked my cut. <laughs> it was 
disgusting. It was painful. Because <laughs> I was laying on the couch. And then... How do our conversations always turn to weird stuff? Because it's painful. Know. Anyway, so in explanation, I wanted to just explain no, how come some horses go in the stalls in the afternoon and some horses stay out. We have some easy keepers and we have some hard keepers. And instead of just letting the hard keepers figure it out themselves, we put them in at lunchtime and we give them extra hay and we make sure that they have like no competition for their hay. So they're only eating it all themselves. What are you doing? Anyway, when we come back in a little while, I'm gonna tell you guys, give you an update on Chino. Now that I kind of like have a good update, I'm gonna give you an update. But I wanted to show you this. <laughs> so do you guys remember when we moved to this house? Instead of getting boxes, we got all these Rubbermaid totes. Like we got a ton of them. Our basement is full of them. So basically, um, we used them to move and then we put all the stuff in them and we put the stuff in the basement So then they all just sat in the basement like we took our stuff out of the ones that we wanted And then all the rest sat in the basement all the stuff that we never used in the last three and a half years So every January when I do my spring cleaning I was trying like clean out a few buckets to get rid of stuff that we really didn't need to keep so Today I asked Sam if he would wash all those buckets for us so that we could actually use them for like storing horse stuff. You guys see in our barn, we're a little overrun. And so that's what that was. He was cleaning them, cleaning them all out. Wow, he got them all up here without them falling off. All right, so we are at a candy store. We've been here before, but for any of you guys who are new, it's the first time you're gonna get to see it. Old fashioned candy store. And they have like everything here. Maple, bacon, cotton candy. I should get these candies for Sam. Grumpy old man candies. He's not very grumpy. Unpopular opinion, but I love black licorice. They have Wonder Woman candy. Wonder Woman. And they have Frank's Red Hot sunflower seeds. That Sam would love those. Debbie wants the gummy bear. So my favorite candy are little black balls. But they might be racist. I don't know if they're if they have a racist connotation, but they're just like little black licorice hard candies. I love those. It's a pipe, but it's black licorice. <laughs> I love black licorice. Oh, there they are. Black balls licorice licorice candy. These are them. Oh, they're my favorite. I'm getting them. The best thing about this store are all these candy jars. They are amazing. I love so many of these things. This this store could kill you. It's so good. I love these too. They're called Boston Baked Beans and they're candy. But I also love these and they're 10 cents each. They're flavored. They're flavored honey. Oh, I'm getting that. I mean, oh! There's a garbage at the end of it. But it's yeah. sour, but it's not. I'm doing yeah, uh, it. Oh, come on, go for it. I'm try it it's now. really good. Go Ooh, for it. I'm sweating. Me too. <laughs> okay, I gotta spit it out. <laughs> Woo! Oh, it's wild. Can you eat it? You guys, honest to God, I went there. For one thing, and I told the girls we're not getting any candy. Because uh, this is not getting any candy. That's Sophie's candy. It's wait, for me and Elizabeth, wait, actually, I'll show so you. Wait, let me explain. I went there to get these sour candies. I have a friend in the States that thinks that Canada doesn't have sour candies. These are the most sour candies in the whole world right now. She ships them in special. Lemon and strawberry. That's watermelon. No, she said it's strawberry, but yeah, it does look watermelon. Okay. She so, said it's watermelon. Oh. So then I found these Boston beans and I love them so I got those and then I found these black balls which I also love you're waiting I don't want to eat them. yeah I'm waiting for them to eat it uh Gabby got this alien candy and, and she got snot shots which I don't know what this too. is but it is bubble gum literally $12 it was $12 I'm like I'm never got out of this store only spending $12 I was really proud of myself and then oh I told showed you guys yesterday how people on TikTok have thing called a thing called water talk and it's like making sugar-free drinks and they have skittles and I can never find them here and I found skittles and then before you know it I found starburst and then I found nerds and then 
I found Jolly Rancher. So we got all these waters. I choose what I want to open it. And they're like four ninety nine each. They're like five bucks each. I'm Except open. for actually one of them. One of them was more expensive. No, no they're no, all the same. So by this point, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go. And then I found this cookie dough, and Gabby loves cookie dough, and it's Twix cookie dough, and it was $7.99, but it's good for her. She's gonna be having a friend sleepover, a sleepover, so she's gonna eat that. And then, yeah. So the craziest thing and the last thing I bought was this. It's, they're $6 each. I should have bought, I resisted buying one for me. I bought one for Gabby, one for Sophie, and one for Elizabeth. Um, they're the boba beads. You know how you go and you buy bubble tea? Well, I can't drink that because it's got tea and I can't drink caffeine, but I love bubble tea. I love the bubbles. These are the popping bobas and it comes in flavors and then you put it in your drink any drink so i got a uh, blue raspberry cotton candy and another blue raspberry uh, and it also comes with a straw like that's the coolest thing so you mix these in with whatever drink you want and you got the popping boba beads yeah, it's pretty good is it really good what one did you have skittles all right i'm gonna try the skittles. Like skittles can i try yours okay honestly it's so good you guys i need to put more water i tried to put it you're supposed to put them in water bottles but i have this big jug so good so we're gonna Made try. Made in USA. Yeah, we're gonna try these. Yeah, hopefully, if they do pop, you didn't pop all mine. Yeah, hopefully. I'm squeezing it. All right, so let's see it. We're gonna try this right now. Is it popping? Oh, I love it. Well, now my drink is. They pop. Better. Is it good? Just like boba. Just like boba. So. This is what me and Elizabeth Hall, she's not here yet. So this is Elizabeth and Sophie's Hall. They're gonna have it on the weekend. So we got these silly sour legs. Silly sour legs. I got two of these things that are filled with candy. So she got those little tiny bags. You could get like all different small, medium, and large. And she got an extra large and she got small. And they're all those gummy candies that were in the little containers. You got to pick whatever you wanted. Fluffy cotton candy flavored suckers. Got airheads. airheads. Snot shots again. Cow tails. No, that looks good. And then some little sour hamburgers. So I keep seeing comments from people asking me about Chino because I know you guys are worried about him and like wondering like what the heck is happening to Chino. So I thought I'd tell you guys again exactly what's going on with our boy. Clearly uh, Chino is here, loving life, having hay. He's got Willow with him tonight. So the thing is, is that you guys know that all along Chino, Gabby gets Chino going good. We get him all fixed up. Everything is good. And then his feet get sore. And then we take a little bit of time. We try and fix him again. And then we start again. And then his feet get sore. Like it's a lot, you guys. It's a lot to try and figure him out. We have done, we've done so many tests and so much stuff to try and figure him out. And he's a mystery, even our vet. It says he's a mystery, and our vet even wants us to get like a second opinion because he's such a mystery. So this is what I want you guys to know. We love Chino, we love him so much that we don't want to keep going in this circle like of he's going good and then he's not, he's going good and then he's not. We want to like take time. We want to take time, have whatever professional person that we need figure him out and get him going so that he's always good and no more no more fallbacks. Like, his, he just has crappy feet. He's a thoroughbred and a quarter horse. And they tend to have crappy feet. And we wanna fix his feet. And I believe, personally, that you fix feet from the inside out through diet and through health versus just the stuff that we've been doing. So that's what we're, that's what we're trying to do. We're like, trying to fix him long term and and if and if his feet are just always going to be crappy which i don't know i don't think they will be because he's doing well um we just don't want to be premature in riding him we don't want to like ride him when he's doing better and then end up causing trouble again and set him back so we're just taking our time and and people keep telling me like it can take a year especially because we had shoes on him and people sometimes a lot of people don't know that shoes can actually cause a lot of damage and a lot of the stuff that Chino has going on with his feet are shoes related. 
and it can take so long for that to, to get fixed. And I hoped that he would be better by now, or I hoped that we'd be at a place now where, where his feet would be so good that we wouldn't ever worry about them getting bad again, but we're not there. And uh, everything I've read and everything people tell me, it can literally take a year. It can literally take a year. But we're just trying to figure it out, guys, and we're not gonna, we're, we're done not listening to him. Like we're just done not listening to him. I hope that makes sense. Like I want the best for him. I don't want him to just feel okay sometimes while we ride. I want him to like be his best self. I want him to go out there and ride like the wind. I just wanted to explain it. I know that some people are still struggling with it and wondering, I know Lena. I hear you, Lena. I hear you all the time. I wanted you to know Chino's good. He's okay, but he's not perfect. And I want him to be perfect before. Gabby starts riding him. The day that Gabby starts riding him again it will be like the best day on earth. And then I saw some other people saying like, Gabby needs a new horse. And yeah, she could use another horse for sure. And Gabby doesn't want a horse. She doesn't want another horse. You guys know what Gabby's like. If you were here when she ended up getting Chino because Storm didn't want to do the things that she wanted. Oh, she loves hard. She loves so hard and she will not even consider the idea of another horse. She's still in love with the idea of chino so that's that's where we stand um i love the fact that we can go to our barn and she can ride different horses there and she's falling in love with the horse right now what happened did you get under the fence holy cow because my ears are blocked i couldn't even tell what that was come here come here baby come on it's okay did you get shocked i'm sure come here it's okay Come here. It's okay, honey. It's okay. You can't go under the fence. The fences are not good for puppies. Basically, oh, she peed all the way here. It's okay, see? That's why Daisy gets so scared of the barn because she doesn't understand. She doesn't understand when she gets shocked by the fence. It's okay, honey. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Anyway, that's the end of Chino's story. <laughs> I gotta console my baby. Don't you know that you're beautiful?